Hey guys, welcome back. Um, here I am on ESO, and um, we are now basically trying to figure out what we need to do by talking to this NPC. Bad room here claims that the threat about Jew poses has been greatly exaggerated. Poor fool wouldn't know a moth from a mammoth. Gra asked me to bring these things. Ah, the focus objects. These will do very nicely. Let me just, uh... Hmm. I don't think that was supposed to come off. What do you hope to accomplish, um... Playing with invisible objects? You guys saw that? He was like, invisible object thing, you know, with his fingers? Yeah. If all goes well, we'll be able to peer into the past. Hopefully see what happened to Falchu. Oh, okay, time. this guy's a, um... Now we may finally learn how Falchu was defeated. Um, I don't know. And maybe He's we'll a find psychic. Out how tall the horker really was. They're gonna use a magic ritual here, obviously, because you know. There we go. Listen, Timber. You must listen. What? Giuliano's little teapot. We did it. Giuliano's little teapot. That's hilarious. Was that supposed was that supposed to happen? No, worked better than I anticipated. Well, we didn't just create a window into the past. We opened the door. Okay, so that ritual basically um, apparently opened a ripple in time or whatever. Why is this girl says an arrow? E. We heard a scream, and then ripples of magical distortion started to sweep across the battlefield. What happened? Open the door to they the were supposed to cast a simple divination spell, nothing more. Sarvet wasn't supposed to open any doorways. I don't like this. Time magic shouldn't be meddled with. Examine the ripples. See if there really is a doorway of some kind. Oh wow, cool. So, basically in the past, when I came in here, I thought these guys here that you're supposed to kill were just here, but apparently, you know, the bad guys actually, uh, I mean, the mages were actually the one who opened it. He... You seek oh. to see into the past. I can guide you. Die. Okay, I'm getting attacked here. Oh, great. I'm probably gonna die. last time ripple that I'm examining. Um, I just basically, you know, this is the last one. And I just basically um, edited this out, so Go now this I'll is the last one and I have to find the um, crypt. So we're on our way to find the crypt, following the white arrow on the minimap. So yeah, basically, um, since ESO updated, you can quest anywhere you want now, and example, if you are um, low level, you can go to the area where it's high level, and you basically be become the same level. Talk to this I girl. I remember this place. It all started here, on the day of the final battle. We gave up everything to kill Fao Chu. I'll be damned if I just let him come back to life and curse the world again. Is that why you've returned? I'm here because the one I loved gave up everything that day to save his people. You seek answers. I'm here to help you find them and hopefully avoid the tragedy that occurred on that long ago day. Complete quest. This armor is your key to the past. It belonged to my beloved and was buried in this place of honor. When you're ready, put on the armor. Oh, this armor brings back such... What? Oh my god, I was getting attacked while I was talking to her? Oh my goodness. Why can't I use my skill? What the heck? That's irritating. I 
could I use this? I don't know why. So now I'm gonna put on this armor and see what happens. There you are, my love. I was starting to worry about you. So apparently now I'm in the past. And yeah, here we go. Why do you linger, my love? Commander Parmion rallies the troops for the final assault. You're his best officer and our noblest knight. I'm not sure what's going be. on. Did that blow to your head rattle your senses? We're the Alessia. Uh, goodbye. Do what you have to do and find those orders. Then find me at camp. We so, I'm now Quantum Leap, dude. So basically, th yeah, I'm Quantum Leap. This is a Quantum Leap episode. This is how basically I figured. So, now I'm gonna get my pet out. <laughs> And look for stuff to kill here. What the heck? If you guys don't know what Quantum Leap is, um, it's a sh show back in the good generation days or whatever. So now, after I've reached this camp, I know I'm supposed to go in this tent and get something in there. Move! Now! Kill these dudes. E. What is in here? Isn't this Falchu's body? I don't know whose body that is. So we got a note and then I'm supposed after I got the note, I'm supposed to go back to camp. So I'm gonna go over there. That's a dolmen. I don't know if you guys remember that. But yeah, it's a dolmen. Where is she? She's supposed to be in here somewhere. Oh, there. There you are, my knight. Did you recover the orders? Here's, uh, so I went there to get the orders, okay. Excellent. You're a credit to the Dureni Guard. Now we can prepare a proper counterattack to the upcoming Alessian assault. They won't know what hit them. Yes, he surprised us all. We weren't expecting the last king of a dying people to show up on the field of battle. But he's a brilliant tactician and his advice can only help. Meanwhile, we'll send Alana's unit to put an end to Falchu. Alana, I need to be the one to strike down Falchu. What nonsense. Alana can handle it. If these orders are any indication, I need you to lead our defenses. But speak to Alana before she goes, if you like. Just make it quick, and don't forget to talk to the king. Okay, the king is in here. King... Oh, wow. Well, <clears throat> this episode is done. Sorry if you... If it was... Well, I probably think this is kind of a very, very, very boring episode. Probably also very confusing because um, it's been, I don't want to say a while, it's just very confusing. Oh my god, that background noise. Anyway, well thanks guys for watching. I, um, yeah. So, I know this was probably a confusing 